Boynton, Bruce, welcome to the uh, War Zone. All right, thanks a lot for having me again, Lou. It's uh, always a pleasure to talk with you. Yeah, man, last time we were here, we were in Maine making history. You made all the papers over there. Yeah, that was uh, that was a fight to remember. You know, I, I got blessed uh, to have the first fight in, in history of Maine, and uh, and it couldn't have gone any better with a knockout. So here I am, uh, first fight, first pro fight again tonight, and. Uh, it won't be history, but I, I hope to uh, make a good show out of it. So. Well, you already had your historic moment, man, but you've been training hard, and you had a little difficulty uh, coming into tonight's uh, uh, matchup. I, I did, actually. I um, I took a fight, actually, at 150 this time. That's the first time I've fought under 155. Um, you know, I took it out a few months back, and, and I was kind of skeptical on taking that fight because of where my weight was at. But I said yes to it, and I uh, thought that I'd be able to make weight. I was actually overweight by, you know, quite a few pounds. So uh, I, I feel I feel a little bit of disrespect towards my opponent for that. You know, um, it was a bad decision to take the fight. I just want everybody to know that that I, I did put in as much work as anybody can put in to lose that weight. Yeah, but it wasn't you just taking a fight under your under your normal weight. You had you had some health issues going on. I, I did actually. Uh, it was it was both. I would say three weeks ago, four weeks ago, I had uh, pneumonia. My, you know, I got kids, so uh, the whole family came down with pneumonia, and I was out of training. Uh, and that was probably, you know, a turning point for me. I, my body wouldn't lose the weight. I couldn't, couldn't do anything right then. So, I've, I've been uh, pushing. I've been taking in under a thousand calories a day and burning a thousand calories in one session, uh, same day. And, and you know, to have the next few days go by and still not losing any weight. There's nothing I could have done. I want people to know that because it, I, I don't agree with somebody coming in overweight. I, I just think it's unprofessional and disrespectful. But it wasn't anything you did on purpose. No, no it wasn't. Uh, but I apologize to my opponent. I commend him for taking the fight. Uh, I gave him a little bit of my purse money, and, and uh, hopefully we can put on a good show tonight. Well, I have no doubt you're going to go in there with full force, and you're going to give the fans what they're looking for. Even though we're not in Maine, we're in Massachusetts. But your fans do come down and follow you. It, it's very exciting being down here. Actually, this is where I had my first pro fight against Rick Hahn. So, um, you know, this is kind of bringing back some memories, and it's kind of a, a chance to avenge uh, that loss. I got a, I got a new a new uh, school I'm training with, Young's MMA. My coach is right there, and and Ray Wood, who who is up and coming. Uh, he'll be he'll be the amateur title holder here real soon. So. And Ryan Sanders, another teammate of mine, and, and with that with that skill level uh, that I'm training with, real excited to see how that pans out tonight. Well, I think that, again, I know you a little bit, and I think you're going to do fantastic out there. You know, it's, it's St. Patrick's Day. How can you go wrong? Yeah, there's always some significance to the nights I'm fighting. It's St. Patty's Day, so it's uh, it's supposed to be a good time tonight. I'm, I want to make sure I have a good reason to celebrate. Yeah, and you have no choice because I know you have a woman out there that's not going to be too happy if you don't do well. She's out there, and uh, I just spoke to her, Randy. I, I love her to death. Uh, she's she's waiting for for a show, so I got to give it to her. Win, lose, or draw, you're gonna bring you're gonna bring it home. That, that's one thing I know, and my coaches and teammates know that there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a show. I won't be coming out flat, and uh, you, that's one thing that's guaranteed. So, I know it'll be a good time. Hopefully, I'm on the I'm on the winning scale. That's all I gotta say. That's all we can hope for, Bruce. Bruce, thanks for coming on the show, and best of luck, my man. All right, thanks a lot, Lou. Always a you, pleasure talking to you. Thanks for having me.